Okay, this video is going to show you how to create uh, seating charts in Synergy. So first thing we're going to want to do is log into our Synergy account. Once you get logged into your Synergy to create seating charts, um, you're going to want to first, a couple ways you can do it is you can just add students uh, alphabetical through your, through your seating charts, which just puts them in a nice row. So if I go in here, just where my seating chart is, it's empty, I can edit. If I want to, I can arrange the classes or change where they want to be. Um, and I can add students into that seating chart. Um, but a better way is to create a template. And so what we can do is if we go down under charts and go to templates, what we can do is I've created a template of the lab that I work in, but what you could do is create a new template. So when you create this new template, call it whatever you want. I would call it your classroom so that you know what it is. So we're going to call this test class uh, just so that you can see it. And then what you need to do is you need to add some furniture to it. Um, so you have to have a seat to put students into. So I'm going to add just a desk and a chair and you could continue to add your desks and your chairs to make like whatever you want for your row. Um, the other thing that you can do is I can add like we have in the computer lab, we have rectangular tables so I can add a couple of rectangular tables. Um, if you are adding tables, you need to make sure that you give your students a chair to sit in so that your student photos will be assigned to the chairs, not to the tables itself. So I can set up and do all of my arranging how I want. If I rotate something, I can, I can rotate it by clicking on it and dragging it so I can get it. Maybe I've got an end seat here. Um, the other thing that's really neat with your seating charts is once I set up maybe one row or one section, I can highlight everything then I can control C, copy it, and then I can control V, paste it, and I can have like my second row. So maybe that would be my second row. So this is a great way to get your seating chart all situated. You can also set your preferences of where is the top of the classroom, how big do you want your grid size to be for your students. Um, so when you're snapping them to it, uh, the larger the grid, the little bit easier that it is to get them into it. Um, and so where is the front of the classroom? So for me, the front of the classroom would be the top of the screen because that's where everything is. When you're done, I can save this template. And so now that I've got this template saved, uh, what we are going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to add some students to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my seating charts and I'm going to add a free form because I want to add a, a new seating chart that I'm going to add. So I'm going to add a free form chart for my second period class. I'm going to pick the templates that we've got. And I'm going to do this for my real class. So I'm just going to do my F203 template. And I'm going to hit use template. And then I've got my students up here. And so then what I can do with my students is I can drag them in and drop them into a seat. And I can, when I get done, I've got all of my students in here. Um, if I'd like to, I can fill my, just fill my students alphabetical. It'll drop them right into the seats. And then I have all of my students set with this. Um, I'm going to give this a class title. So I'm going to call this, this is my period two principles class. And so this would give me all of the students that are in this class. Um, I can always come back and edit it. So I'm going to save this. So this is going to give me a great way that I could show uh, print off for substitutes or have for anybody else if you're wanting to take attendance. The great use of seeing charts uh, for your classroom using Synergy.